Hi, this is Gordon Moore with Electrosonics. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to make a coaxial dipole transmitter antenna that can be used to get the antenna away from the body of the actor or higher up or extended away from where the transmitter might happen to be. These are very simple to make, and I'm going to be using a, a very simple pre-made cable to start from and show you how to strip it back and create a dipole. It's all very straightforward. You start out, you need just a few simple things. First of all, you need a piece of shrink tubing, something that you can shrink around the finished result. This is kind of pre-cut to a beginning length, but we'll talk about the lengths in just a little bit. Secondly, you need a piece of cable that is terminated at one end, or in this case, this happens to be a finished cable that's terminated at both ends with an SMA connector. So this is very simple. This happens to be a two meter cable. So what we're going to do is we're going to stretch this cable out untangle it from itself and we're going to take it to its halfway point take our diagonal cutters and basically cut it in the middle. After you've cut your cable in half you will end up with two cables like this with the SMA connector on one end and no termination on the other. This is three meters long. Now you can make this however long you want and uh, at the very end will be the antenna itself and we'll show you how to make that next and then you need your piece of, of shrink tubing that you're going to use to clean it up and make it all look very nice so the antenna comprises of two elements you have the, the active element and your radiator the, and you have your ground plane and so we're going to create that now how long you need to make it is dependent upon the frequency the higher the frequency the shorter the antenna and on our website you can download this particular data sheet basically a uh, antenna kit uh, instructions and on this data sheet you'll find that there is a uh, diagram showing you the various lengths and if your printer is accurate in length you can actually use these links or you can use the dimensions shown here on the table so we take our uh, list here and we're going to make a block 21 antenna so we go on to the, the little guide and we go from the connector out and we set the tip of the cable right down here at, at the 21 mark. We measure it over to the end of the right to where the BNC is and it's this spot right here that we need to remove our insulation. So we're going to kind of do a little gentle cutting. Probably be better done with a knife. We're going to nibble away at the insulation here to expose. You do not want to cut the shield. You want the shield to remain intact. We're only going to be pulling off the insulation here. Now the insulation tends to stick real closely to it. So I find that it's nice to nibble away little bits of the insulation and, and take it off little short segments at a time. See, but what you want to do is expose the shield. You don't want to cut it off. You want to expose it like so. See how we have the shield exposed there? That's what we're trying to do here is just cut this away. You may find using a knife will get you there a little bit quicker. There we go. So now there we have the insulation removed and we have the shield now exposed on the cable. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to expose by prying apart the insulation right at uh, the, the, the shield, right here where the insulation ends, we're going to spread it. I'm going to use just the tip here. I'm not cutting it. I'm just using this nice sharp tip to spread the shield to get access to the core. You need to get into that core, so you just kind of slide the wiring aside to expose the core because what we want to do is pull the core out without cutting off the shield like so. See how it's starting to come out now? And once you get it started it comes out quite easily. See how it's see again if I get the focus right here see how that's now pulling out so we end up with 
the core going out here and the shield pulled aside to one side. Now you take that shield and flatten it out. Get rid of any bumps that may have been caused from your trimming. As long as it maintains electrical continuity. And we're going to fold it back. Fold it back alongside the insulated part. So here's our core right here. And here's our insulation here. Now we take our shrink wrap and slide it over and conceal. See how we're getting it to conceal the shield so it's un invisible. Now there's no, now we just have the shrink wrap going the length of the cable and leaving the exposed core. And I'm going to slide this down so it's just above the joint where the coax is. So now we have just the exposed core at this end and we have the shield at this end. Okay. Now we have to do, I'm using the heat gun here, and we'll shrink the wrap. Okay, now what we have is the shield is shrink wrapped and you have your antenna and you're all set. This is a very effective now block 21 antenna. If you want, you can also finish off the cable very nicely with a little cap so you know which frequency it was. The caps can be color coded. Here's a black one. But since this is a block 21, we're going to use the brown cap. Put a little bit of glue on the piece on the cap and there you have a very nice one meter coax cable antenna that can now be used with any of our transmitters with the SMA connector. Very handy for hiding in costumes or pulling out through the tops of scuba suits for somebody that might be uh, uh, wearing an outfit where you need just a little bit better transmission. This gets the transmission part of the antenna away from the transmitter. There you go. How to make a coax antenna. You could do the same concept for a receive antenna. The length is not quite as critical, but you can use any coaxial cable and you can create a receiver antenna in exactly the same fashion. Fold back the shield, cover it with shrink wrap, have the center conductor exposed to the correct length, and you've got your antenna and you can custom make those. The amount of cable that's between the active part of the antenna, which is this section from here to here, the rest of this cable, the length of that is irrelevant. You can make that any length you want, as long as on the transmitter it is a 50 ohm rated cable. Thank you.